Hi, let's go back in time and look at how photography has changed in the last 50 years. The first thing that I bought was obviously a developing tank to develop my own negatives. A good old fashioned Patterson developing tank. Very straightforward, hasn't changed much in its design at all. Having got my negatives, next thing I wanted to do was to print them. So this is my enlarger. I know it doesn't look very much like an enlarger, but I can assure you it is. How it operates is you put the paper in the bottom box, a little bit stiff, like everything else, it's age. got a basic box, a border guideline, put your photographic paper inside, border, that'll give me a nice edge to the photographs, and then we pop it back on the bottom. The negative itself goes up here, between two pieces of perspex, I think it was originally glass, but I've now got perspex there. Amazing, these elastic bands have been here and haven't perished yet and they've got to be at least 50 years old. The lens is a very simple affair. If I've used my phone, I'll demonstrate. It's just a small glass lens um, with a washer, believe it or not, to give us the f-stop of about f4. I was amazed to find the other day when I got this out that I'd still got the original instructions. Thank goodness. For the exposure, what you need to do, obviously in red light, is to wave a bulb over the top. Sounds very primitive, but that's what you did. You kept it moving so you got an even illumination very hit and miss. Paper and the bottom and the border that's it nicely then just put the box on the top and the enlarger is ready to go. To give me a better light for filming purposes, I'm going to use this as a red light. It does work quite well. Right, let's do the exposure. Open the flap, then time the exposure. You could use 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, not very accurate. I suggest you find yourself a decent watch. Count the seconds that way. Right, I'm gonna be using Ilford. I can still get hold of this at the moment. So I've got PQ Universal as a developer, and then I've got a fixer. One thing I've found over the years is the developer can go off. You only need a small bit of air in the top, and if you haven't used it for a little while, it's gone off. So craftily I worked out a way of doing this and that is marbles, use your marbles. What I do is every time I take something out of here, i.e. let's take about one ounce, then all I do is to top it up with marbles until it displaces the amount of liquid I've taken out. There we go. I mean, the other way, you could actually squeeze the bottle until you've got rid of the excess air that's gonna make it go off, but that works. Right, so we've done an exposure. I always place the Printing 
face side down for a start and gets the developer working all over the print. The print should start arriving anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds for this developer at the moment. It is doing. But it's looking a bit weak. I haven't got enough detail here in the foreground. The background's very dark anyway, but I can get it better than this. Put it in the wash. And straight into the fixer. I've got tweezers. You don't have to use your fingers. Right, let's have another go. Turn it over. Looks like it's coming a bit quick. Let it have its full development time. You can snatch these things and you won't get a good picture at all. It'll be very washed out. Right, final print we hope. That seems to be working quite well. It's misleading working them with the red light because when you think the picture is just right you might want to take it out, snatch it and then when you put the room light on you find it's not dark enough. Always let it have its full development time. This looks fine because I can see some reflection now in the bottom here in the water. I'm using water in between, you can use a stop bath. Um, it prolongs the life of your fixer. I mean your fixer can be contaminated by the developer. I'm only doing a few prints. Right, having dried the prints out, let's have a look. This was the first one that we did, and this was 20 seconds exposure. Thought it looked a little bit thin, so we did a second exposure that was 30 seconds exposure definitely over the top so I knew really I wanted to go about halfway so last one 25 seconds exposure quite pleased with this I've got definition here reflection in the water so as a photograph that's quite reasonable the light that I used to help while filming in the dark room was basically this it's a cycle light get them off eBay £1.99, very cheap, and I was quite fortunate it didn't fog the paper. Obviously it wasn't set on flash at the time. <laughs> you would have to do some experiments, try it yourself, see if it works, see if it fogs, but I found uh, two feet away it wasn't fogging the paper. If you liked it, Give us a tick. Don't forget, subscribe. See you all soon.